there's a lot of talk in the news today about how much weight Americans have gained in the last 30 years, and there are a lot of theories as to why that is. And our guest today has his own theories, too. Dr. Stefan Guionet is a writer, a neuroscientist, and an expert on human obesity and human behavior. I read his book called The Hungry Brain, Outsmarting the Instincts That Make Us Overeat, which the New York Times called an essential read. Um, <clears throat> and I just loved how full it was of really usable information that we could all use in our own lives about how we get fat, how we get slim, why we eat foods that are bad for us, and why it's not about willpower. It's about our brains. So... Stefan has also created the Ideal Weight Loss Program, which is a course that helps you cultivate healthy slimming habits, and he's here today to help us understand how and why our appetites and our food choices are the way they are. So thank you, Dr. Stefan Guionet, for being here. My pleasure. Good to be here. So I wanted to start off with some facts that you present in your book and that a lot of us have heard about, and that is that we've gotten much heavier over the last 50 years, especially in the last 30 years. Um, in 1960, one out of seven Americans were obese. And in 2010, one out of three of us were obese, mm. which is a, a, almost over doubling um, in the last 50 years. Why? What is your, th I know it's a complicated issue, but can you give us an idea of why that's happened? Because there's so many theories. It's the sugar, it's the fat, it's the soda, it's the lack of exercise. What is it, what in your opinion? Yeah, and so this is a trend that's been actually going on for a long time, and it's it accelerated since about 1980, resulting in what we call the modern obesity epidemic. But this has been going on for probably the better part of a century. And essentially, the, the, the basic reason why we're getting heavier is that we're eating more calories than we used to relative to our calorie expenditure. And if we quantify that, it turns out that we're eating about 218 calories a day more than we used to on average. And that explains the obesity epidemic, so the increase in obesity since about 1980. And so that's on average, by the way. So that doesn't mean that everyone has eaten, you know, begun to eat exactly 218 calories more. It means that there's a spectrum. Some people are eating more than that. Some people are eating less than that. But on average, to produce the average weight gain that we've seen, we're eating about 218 calories more. So that's, you know, a little bit more than 10%. It's more than a 10% bump in our calorie intake. So um, then the question becomes, why are we eating more? And that's when we turn to the brain because eating is uh, eating behavior, like all behaviors, is generated by the brain. Couldn't it be just that we're not, we have more uh, convenient food and we're not living uh, as we were 100 years ago? It's just easier to get food. So we are, yeah, it's more absolutely. available. So those are some of the things that influence our brain activity to generate eating behavior. So essentially we have all these brain circuits that regulate our eating behavior and they respond to things like the types of foods that we're eating and the food environment that we're living in, such as how easy it is, how cheap it is, how tasty it is, and you know how many times a day we see food images on television or on billboards, et cetera. And those are all cues that impact those brain regions and impact our drive to eat. And so essentially, we're eating more calories, and at least some of the reasons why we're doing that is because we're in an environment that's surrounded increasingly by food. The convenience of our food has gone up. We're doing less cooking and more buying and eating prepared foods. The cost of our food has gone down um, relative to historical norms. Our percentage of disposable income that we spend on food today is less than half of what it was just a hundred <clears throat> just a hundred years ago um, and so and the food that we eat has become more and more seductive basically as the we've been able to concentrate the ingredients that the brain wants like sugar and salt and fat and starch and combine those 
through industrial processing into increasingly seductive combinations that give us too much eating drive, essentially. So I think those are some of the things that have driven that increase in calorie intake. So thank you so much for tuning in today. If we helped you in any way, then click the subscribe button and let's keep hanging out together. We have so much more to share with you. And if you need more information on actually making the switch for good, please visit us at switchforgood.org for loads of info. And you can subscribe to our mailing list where you will receive all sorts of super cool gifts, discount codes to our very fave dairy-free products, and a lifetime of powerful health tips. So join us on the journey to switch for good. This is the future.